Hey everybody, what's going on? So this is a uh, I'm doing a series here on mistakes that I've used over the year used that I have learned over the years, uh, bad mistakes, costly mistakes, uh, and I'm sharing with with you uh, so that you don't have to uh, you know go to what I did. Uh, so mistake number two is having a bad contract or working with the wrong contractor. Again, when I say bad contractor, I'm not necessarily talking about immoral uh you know moral you know what i'm saying uh, bad in that sense but <clears throat> someone is incompetent but certainly yeah you can get some guys that are really really bad and i've <laughs> had the, the 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 unlucky experience of of uh working with some of those guys just rascals but anyway um i mentioned before um you know if you can learn from other people's mistakes it's so much better than having to learn it yourself right I and mean, you all have to learn from mistakes so Bad contractors, you know, you know, if you're a real estate wholesaler, you may go, well, I don't need a contractor. I'm just wholesaling properties. Well, you know, at some point, when you start doing deals, you know, you're going to want to maybe do some fix and flips or, or buy some rental properties. You want to have a contractor to help you do work on those. You want to make sure you have the right right person. And I tell you what, I, I con bad, bad partnerships with contractors have really, really cost me a lot of money over the years. Here, let me explain something. When when you're doing real estate fix and flips, or even even you know, uh, re, you know, you're you're buying holds kind of thing. There's a difference, just like with real estate wholesalers, wholesale and there's retail, right? When you're doing any kind of, uh, you know, when you're, you're rehabbing a property, there's the, the 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 retail cost for doing things and the wholesale cost for doing things, and the difference is simply. You know, a contractor who's really, really good and he's super busy, he's going to be just charge retail price. He'll he'll have his co materials cost. He might even mark up materials. So he buys uh, some cabinets at Home Depot for eight grand and he'll charge the customer nine grand. And that profit's his. And then he'll charge whatever his labor is. Okay. And that's fine. That's his, that's his numbers, his re retail. Okay. The challenge of if you're flipping houses, if you're if you're a wholesaler and you want to have accurate numbers for your buyers, a buy a flipper is not going to be paying retail. They can't. They're not. There's not that much profit margin in in a flip to do that. They can't just hire some guy retail costs to for those cabinets or to put a roof on that kind of. You, you're going to have to find guys and go. Bottom line, here's my budget. Does that make sense? There's nothing wrong with that. That's just how it all works. The, the and so you, the question is well why would a contractor do it for less why not do it for retail well it's because you're you know if you're a flipper or you're you're in real estate you know I don't know you, you that is you keep the guy busy you know you and your colleagues keep him busy with work like if you can keep you know doing with this in this price point we can make money that's that's kind of how it all works okay the challenge though is if you're gonna have to have a guy that can can do it on the cheap okay. This is where it really gets messy because you you realize as a flipper, okay, you can't pay retail to get these things done for the most part. I mean, if you did it on every deal, you'd have no deals. So you've gotta you gotta keep your costs down. The challenge is when you guys when you find guys are super cheap, you don't know if they're reliable, if they're gonna do a good job. And so I can't tell you how many times you get a guy who will do it cheap, but he he guns it decks to work. He doesn't do it right, you know. He leaves things undone or he takes off, you know, decides to go to the Oregon Coast for a week during the middle of the rehab. Well, and you call him, well, it's my family time. And like, <laughs> you pay him half, you know, $50,000 rehab and you give him 25 grand in cash to get all the stuff and he takes off. Like that happens, right? It's happened with me. So another another challenge too, you'll find somebody that um, that I, 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 I hope this does not happen to you. That's why I'm making this video. You know, hire a guy. Hey, can you can you do this? You know, rehab for thirty grand, or can you put this roof on for twelve five, or whatever it is? They sign a contract. Yes, we can do it, and then they can't finish it, or they well, yeah, well, I need an extra ten grand, or you know, whatever. Because I mean, you don't understand, and give you all these excuses. Like, <laughs> I would have never hired you if 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 you know you told me it's twenty grand, and you're telling me now it's thirty grand. I would never have hired you. If the real number is thirty grand, you're just afraid that it hurt my feelings until right before you know it's done. Does that make sense? So, you know, 
the, the, having a bad contract is really, really bad. So what's the solution? The solution that I've had to learn, and I hope you learn, is just, I mean, even if you have to pay a little bit more, you want to know this contract to get some good references, see what he's doing, and make sure that he's able to get the job done for that price and that he can get it done in a lot, you know, in, in a, in, in a time, you know, in a timely fashion. Okay. So I hope that helps you. Trust me, you don't want to go over budget 10, 20, 30 grand on any kind of rehab because you got a, you got a contractor that just was not in the right, you know, wasn't a good fit. So I hope to hope you can learn from my mistake. Uh, truly. And uh, look forward to the next video and we'll, uh, we'll talk about the next one. So, um, if you need help, if you want some clarification, or, you know, maybe a free strategy session, talk about how we can grow your business, potentially do some joint ventures, let me know below, and uh, we'll see you uh, if we make some money together. See you in the next video.